So we have a box here that's a little different from the regular box. Uh, it looks to me quite a bit like a pizza box. Uh, the irony here, of course, is that Heitzer, the name of this, Heitz is the German word for heat, uh, which might be where they get the flames from on their emblem. But this is not a hot pizza, folks. It is a pocket shotgun. We'll get to the gun in a second. We'll go over what else you get. A pocket holster, of course. A nice little pouch for carrying along. A mouse pad, which is different. Um, I guess cleaning mat is what it might be intended for, but it's certainly a mouse pad. Um, the owner's manual, our lock, and our, of course, test cartridge. This shotgun fires 410 as well as 45 Colt, uh, often incorrectly referred to as 45 Long Colt. You open it with that lever there, it ejects, you load the round in, close it. This is meant sort of like as a Derringer, as a, as a pocket size gun. Uh, it's a long, double action only trigger, quite heavy, rated to be about 12 pounds. Uh, that is effectively the safety on this. One thing they did do though that makes it a little bit smoother is uh, it's on roller bearings. And as you see, it comes straight back. Oh, that's heavy. Um, but it certainly pops up quick and easy. You might remember these from a few years back. They were in the news uh, when Heitzer and Double Tap Defense, not Double Tap Ammo, but Double Tap Defense, uh, went to court over some issues. Um, the long and the short of it, as I understand, is Double Tap Defense claims they had the idea, Heitzer, who has done machining for the aerospace industry, NASA included, had the engineering and machining know-how and made the guns. Um, that's just internet lore, that's what I've heard. Um, check your facts however you want to. Um, but the point is, this is an interesting, different, and incredibly thin gun. Uh, just about a little less than three quarters of an inch thick. This empty spot down here is alleged to be able to hold two more rounds of 45 Colt. Um, so, meant to be just a simple backup, pull out of the pocket. Definitely easy to hide, um, shove it in a pocket type thing. Uh, but it is heavy in that it is, it's all steel. Interesting machining work though, it's certainly uh, manufactured to aerospace quality. We'll see how it shoots. Uh, this is totally unorthodox for us. But uh, I was curious. I remember when these came out, and I've always wanted to try one. So that's the Heitzer PS1. Watch for our shooting impressions coming up soon.